Hi everyone, Sam Gabriel here, and in this video we're going to learn how to build a Ubuntu 2204 VM image in vSphere using HashiCorp Packer. If you like these kind of videos, please help me out and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also in the comments section below, let me know how these videos help you and if they're of value, that encourages me to create more videos as well. Let's get started. In my repo here, you can see some instructions in the readme, uh, but the main thing is we're gonna run this packer build command. And before we do that, let's jump into our uh, console here for vSphere. And you can see that in the templates for folder, I only have Ubuntu 1604, 1804, and 2004, but I don't have 2204 just yet. All right, so now let's go ahead and copy this command. This is the packer build command, which will run uh, in our terminal here. This takes quite a bit of time to build our uh, image here. Now, if this is the first time you run this command, it will take a, a bit of time to download the ISO image, the Ubuntu 2204 image. Uh, so be patient with that. I've already downloaded it. That's why it's, it's going a little bit faster, but it's going to take about half an hour uh, all in all to complete this, at least for the first time. So be very patient with it. For this video, we're going to go through the different uh, files here and the configuration of Packer while this completes and we'll come back and take a look. Okay. So the first file that we have here is the Ubuntu 2204.pkr.hcl. And if you're not familiar with HCL syntax, uh, it's very similar to what we use in Terraform. In fact, it is the HashiCorp configuration language used across HashiCorp products. I have a Terraform 101 course that talks about the HCL syntax in a lot of detail. If you're interested in that course, I will leave a link to it in the description below. So let's take a look here and see what this is all about. Um, you first need to declare variables and you can see here the different variables we're declaring, the vCenter username and password, SSH username. So we have a bunch of variables declared at the top of this file. I'm just gonna scroll through them uh, really quickly. And we arrive at really the main section here, the source section. Before that, actually we have a locals variable defined here, just to show you how locals work similar to Terraform where we are going to create this uh, build time uh, local variable made up of the format date function with the timestamp just to attach that to the VM when it was actually built. So then the source section here, we're sourcing from vSphere ISO provider and we're naming this Linux Ubuntu server and filling in a bunch of uh, variables here. As you can see the vCenter server var.vCenter the underscore server is the variable uh, vCenter server that we showed at the very top. And the variables themselves will get populated by these two files, the vSphere PKR vars.hcl and variables PKR, PKR vars 100 GB disk.hcl. So all these will get populated here, as you can see. Um, what I want to show you here is the note section is referring to that local variable at the top. So we, we write locals, but when you refer to that variable, you have to use the singular local and then dot and then the name of that local, which was build time. So built by HashCorp Packer on this date and time. And then a bunch of other variables that we put in here, as you can see. And here we, we specify the ISO URL uh, here. And then we have a few more things, but we're booting the disk and CD-ROM. And then we're loading the CD files for two things here, metadata and user data files that belong or live in the HTTP folder here. And we're gonna go in and take a look at these in just a second. Then we have the boot command, which is very important and really differs between the different operating systems. If you saw my previous video on Ubuntu 2004, the boot command was a little bit different. And by the way, since 2004, even I think 1804, we've moved away from using precede files 
uh, to using cloud init when we're working with Packer uh, and even Terraform. And more on that in my blog post, which you'll see also, I'll put a link in the description of this video. The rest is pretty straightforward. The SSH username and password that we can put in here. And um, then finally the build section. And this build block is really used for uh, provisioning. So we're using the shell provisioner and the sources is the vSphere ISO Linux Ubuntu server that we saw at the top. And the shell command here, we're gonna run a few scripts, actually we're running one script here and it's uh, referred to by this variable shell scripts, which lives in this folder scripts and this is the file which we'll see in just a few moments okay now let's take a look at the variables that we're feeding in to this file because the command that we just saw the packer build and then we're forcing it uh, so we can override any existing templates on error ask and then variable file the first variable file is the one we just mentioned and then dash var, var file again it's a it's a flag here to tell us that we can add as many, to tell Packer that you can add as many uh, variable files as you like. And then finally, the main file that we were just looking at here that, uh, that builds everything. Okay, so the first variables file here shows us uh, variables that are not secret in nature. So you can see the HTTP directory, VM name, and so on. Uh, CPU, memory, disk size, username and password. Uh, arguably, you could move this to the uh, to the other file that can, that can contain secrets if you wish, and then the ISO file, the checksum, checksum type, and the ISO URL where to download the Ubuntu twenty two zero four from, and the shell scripts path that we saw earlier here that refers to this script over here. Now the second variables file is the one at the bottom here. As you can see, it's grayed out because I'm not checking it into git. It's in my git ignore file. But I do provide an example so you can fill out or uh, basically uh, rename this file to this file and then uh, update the credentials here to suit your own uh, needs. So in this case, vCenter username, vCenter password, uh, vCenter insecure connection is true, the vCenter server IP address or FQDN data center and so on. So all these you can uh, change and then again change the file and rename it to this file. Again make sure you don't check this into into git. Alright so these are the main packer files and uh, as you might, might see it's actually grabbing the Terraform uh, language from VS Code here, which is neat. It's it sees the same thing, so syntax highlighting and so on works very well. All right, the next piece I want to talk about is the metadata. Uh, in this case, it's empty. We don't need to put anything here. User data is the next one where we put our cloud config. So you can see auto install. Um, I've used this command, early command, in the past multiple times, and it's worked well. Basically, it's a workaround to stop SSH for Packer as it thinks it's it's timed out so you can use that and the packages here you can add multiple packages to install inside the inside this uh, template so here are the ones I have right here you can see Python 3 for example and uh, then this section talks about networking so we have the HTTP is true and uh, I have the Ethernet uh, port right here and then the identity section here, I've got the host name, username, password. This password, I talk about it here where you can generate a password here. So we can, we can take a look here and generate that password. Um, and then the SSH section, as you can see, I can put in a, an authorized key, a public key basically, so I can access this VM later when it becomes a VM. Uh, so this is in the template and storage, user data, late commands. Uh, at the very end of this script, we can run these late commands as well. Now, once this is done, we have the provisioner that kicks in that runs an additional script here. So this script here allows you to do a bunch of things, primarily cleaning up, as you can see, cleaning up any audit logs, uh, persistent UDEV rules, uh, temp directories, SSH keys, 
sets host name to localhost, uh, cleaning app get, cleaning the machine ID, which is very important, uh, cleaning shell history, and, and so on and so forth. At the very end, I do have a, an installer to install Docker. So you can really install anything you like into this template. This is installing uh, Docker, so that works well. And uh, that is pretty much it. Once you have this all done, what it's going to do is going to start uh, giving an IP address, which in this case, it's already uh, gotten a DHCP IP address. So if I go back, if I go back here, I can see that the template is running right now. And sometimes it's good to, to look at the web console inside here to see what's going on. Sometimes it gets stuck if you made a mistake in maybe a boot command or something like that. So it's helpful if you're troubleshooting also to take a look here. As you can see, it is still installing a bunch of things. I can see installing Perl, um, installing NTP, curl. So it's taking some time to still install all the packages that we mentioned in our user data file. So these packages are being installed at the moment. You can see NTP and curl. So this is where it is at the moment. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back once this is all complete. All right, so it is finished. As you can see here, after 26 minutes and nine seconds, so it does take quite a bit of time. And what happens is the machine will automatically turn off. So you can see now it is complete. And now we have Ubuntu 2004 template, 100 gigabyte thin. So this is now ready to, um, to be converted to a VM. And basically what we can do is just go here, right click, uh, new VM from this template give it a name, Ubuntu 22.04 test, and click next. Choose my machine here, click next. Uh, let's keep everything as is and let's power the machine on after it's been created. So that will take a few seconds, this should get created. Now, in a subsequent video, I'm going to show you how to build this uh, VM with Terraform. So Terraform will call on the already created Packer image and generate the VM for you. So stay tuned for that video as well. And I also, uh, I'm building a blog post to walk you through all these steps um, for building the Packer image as well. I'll, key, I'll put a link in the description as well. So I'm going to pause the video just to make this go faster. Okay, so this has completed successfully and our machine is now running. So let's open it up, open the console here. Okay, it's still booting up. So just give it a few seconds. There we go. So use Ubuntu and Ubuntu for the password. And now we're in. Let's clear this. So let's run this command here so and let's run uh, let's see as you can see we've got Ubuntu 2204.1 docker as well should be running remember we installed docker and uh, let's run one more command docker run it hello world This should go out, pull the Hello World image and show us the output right away. And that's it. it successfully ran Docker uh, Hello World image. So everything worked well. 
And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. And I will see you in another video.